As we mentioned in the first video, none of our civil liberties are absolute. All of them come with limits. And that is true also of speech, which is what we're going to be talking about for a little bit. The court, as in the Supreme Court, has found that it's okay to regulate speech or to silence people depending on three different variables. And those variables are time, place, and manner. When it comes to the time that someone is speaking, that adds different value to speech. So, for example, I can grab a microphone, go out on a corner at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and assuming I'm not blocking traffic or creating some other type of public safety hazard, I would be able to give that speech at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. But if I gave the same speech at 4 o'clock in the morning, the Supreme Court has found that it's okay to silence me. It's okay to shut me up at 4 o'clock in the morning. Why? Well, because we live in a civil society in which people are entitled to get a good night's sleep before going to work or school or wherever else. So time matters. Place matters. Place creates context for our speech. So for example, I could sit here right now and say the word bomb. Doesn't have much value. I'm sitting in my office by myself. Now if I was on an airplane and I said that word, well that word would change in value. It would become much more significant. And the court has found that it's okay to silence people from saying certain things in certain places because they can create a public safety hazard. So where you speak adds a tremendous degree of value to the speech itself. And manner means the way through which you are speaking or the method that you're communicating. So I can say, stand on the corner and discuss why I think tuition is too high at Laney College. But if I demonstrate that tuition is too high by chaining myself to the door of an administration building so no one can get in, well then my manner of communication has now disrupted other people's rights. So the time at which you are speaking, the place that you're speaking, and the manner or the way that you're communicating or speaking adds value to speech. And the court has found that depending on those three variables, speech can be regulated. Now, all regulations need to be content neutral. That means that the government, if they're going to silence you, that action of silencing you cannot be based on the content of your speech. So, what this means is, if one speaker is allowed to demonstrate in a public place and give a speech, that other people or other groups need to be given that same right. This is why, every now and again, groups like white supremacists are allowed to hold rallies in front of a town hall. Why? Because other groups are, late, are allowed to do the same thing. And the court has found that you can't just choose between the speech that people are giving. If one group is allowed to speak under certain circumstances, so do other groups need to be allowed to speak under the same circumstances. So again, regulation of speech needs to be content neutral.